the Bates Bobcats stack two on the right side. Jumbo look. send pressure, and Costa now rolling out to his right, looking to do it with his legs, and he'll get the first down and some more before being taken out of bounds. Back behind center. That's Bolden next to him. He takes the snap, drops back. The long pass wide open over the middle is Derek Marino, who's got it and ultimately brought down. Now Berludi fakes to Johnson. He's going to do it with his legs now, and he'll take that first down. Nicely done by Berludi, but looks like the ball may have come out. We'll see if the officials call that one dead. We'll call it a turnover, so after Berludi ran, did it with his legs on that third down play, the Jumbo offense will get off the field. One man in motion. They fake to him. Two Jumbos coming. And they get it out to Bolden. Two missed tackles. They finally wrap Bolden up after a gain of 12 and a first down for the Bobcats. Costa steps back to throw. Looking deep to the end zone. That's caught. And it's going to be a Bates touchdown. That one completed to Sean Bryant, the senior receiver, six foot three, 200 pounds, and a great read by Brendan Costa. Costa takes the snap, looking for something. He's gonna do it with his legs, and he gets the first down and more. Bunch of jumbos missing tackles, but finally wrapping him up is Jason Nadancy. Brendan Costa doing it with his legs, picks up the first down. He's got first and 10 on his own 47. Costa takes the snap. Set back to throw, rolls out right, and the Jumbo is missing a tackle. That's Uteri. Wow. Finally dunks it out to his man for a gain of about 20. That was Steven Garrett, the tight end on Bates. A beautiful play from Costa. He'll fake to Capo. He's going to do it with his legs with a couple Jumbos in the backfield. And he's got plenty of green in front of him. Jumbo's missing another tackle, and there's Brendan Costa in for the touchdown. That's a very impressive play for Costa right there. So much room to run on the left side. Looked like he might have been brought down short, but he makes multiple defenders miss as he waltzes into the end zone. One running back to his left. He's set back, and Brandon Jones looking to wow. make a play, but that caught, he drops the ball right on the jumbo 25 after an incredible catch. Jones not quick enough to catch up. Oliveri on the catch. And deep down the field, we see on the replay right here, beats the man deep. He sees that immediately and lets it fly. He has a step on the de defender, gets that out of there, and there's nothing you can do about that. Huge play, and I think the longest pass of the season for Brendan Costa. But Walsh now on for the kick. That one up and blocked. A rough hold there from Jackson Butler and a blocked kick. Again, we've talked about how this Unit has struggled, and struggle once again it has. He takes the snap. Looks like he's got Merriweather open. He's going to do it himself. Is he going to get there? It looks like he's well short. It'll be about two yards short, and the Bobcats stop the Jumbos on fourth down. Back under center is Brendan Costa. He'll take it himself. Jumbos doing a nice job with contain, but Costa cutting it back to the middle of the field. Jumbo's trying to take him down. Finally, they do. That'll be number five, Giorgio Arquilla. Wow, he's, he's had those running lanes all day so far. Defense trying to make a stop. There's Costa. Jumbo's bring pressure. Costa looks deep, has his man, and a beautiful catch from Sean Bryant, the senior wide receiver from Falmouth, Maine. Great job there by Costa in the pocket to get to his man. Wow, that's just... That was good defense, but that's just great. A beautiful throw and a beautiful catch. He takes the snap. Looks out wide. That one batted and intercepted by the Bates Bobcats. Picked off by number 53, Spencer Adams, and the Jumbos take a rough break. Giving chase, there was George Hawkins who batted it up, teed it up for his teammate. They're going to hurry up. Could be a sneak. Could be a run. They want to get that. They want to pound that ball in on this play. Johnson behind Berluti. Johnson, he's got it. He's wrapped up, still turning those legs. We'll see if they have him in, but they will have him just short. So third and inches here. One man in motion. They flip it out to Johnson. Oh, no. And a fumble. Johnson trying to fall on it. Looks like it's going to go in Bates' direction. They're all pointing that way. 
No, the, but they're the, saying fourth down. We've got the replay for you here. They try to do a little too much as a trick play, but it's snuffed out beautifully by the Bates defense. That ball never even got to Smith, knocked out in the air. The Jumbo seemed to come up with the ball. There was a fight for it on the ground. Right now, it is Jumbo possession. Saved. Could have been an absolute disaster for the Jumbos there. But Patrick Walsh can take him out of it by kicking a field goal and making it a one-possession game. Absolutely. And you'd like to see the Jumbos put that in for a touchdown, but just off the hands of Johnson. Walsh. That one up. And no good out wow. to the right. In for this crucial fourth down play. Make a break here for the Jumbos. Berluti takes the snap. Plenty of time. Looking to make something happen. Finds Merriweather oh. over the middle of the field and knocked away by number four, Anthony Costa of the Bates Bobcats. And another crucial fourth down stop. Costa really made a fantastic play on that ball. He takes the snap. A lot of pressure. Berluti looks downfield. There's no one and there. And there's no one home. It'll be a turnover on downs, and the Bates Bobcats will take possession at around midfield with four minutes and 13 seconds left to go. Bates really brought their best pressure of the night. Bates, Costa, They're he's gonna got throw. it. They're going to throw. Costa looking wow. deep to the end zone, and that's wow. caught for a Bates touchdown. Number 81, Sean Bryant catching the touchdown for the Bobcats, and they extend their lead to 25 to 10 with 25 seconds left to go. And look at the replay right here. Uh, the quarterback Costa drops back. The defense is just not prepared for a pass like that. It's deep and that's a one-on-one -on -one corner out. Those are so hard to defend. There's so much space to go to the end zone. Yeah, it might be Hail Mary time right here. Here's Berluti. Looking short, there's Dunn. <laughs> Jumbo's yeah. playing a little backyard football. And it's picked and up. And a fumble recovered by the Bobcats and the backyard football bites the Jumbos in the butt, and Owen Straley recovers that fumble for another six points for the Bobcats. And 14 seconds left to go, and it's certainly looking bad. Here's Look here, a replay. They're trying to run a little hook and ladder, get the ball to the receiver, and then pitch it back, but he never really has control. And a huge hit. Make sure he's not holding on to that. Easy house call. Berluti takes a snap. Looking for something. One man in pursuit looks for Billy Dunn. And that's going to be the game. And that'll be the end of this one. The Bates Bobcats have taken this one from the Tufts Jumbos. 33-10 to 10 here at the Ellis Oval. And Bates exits 1-3. The Jumbos drop to 0-4.